Hello, Donna here. I'm making envelopes five ways. This is a series of five short videos and this is envelope number five. Now this envelope, it's not even altered. It's just changed very slightly. So envelope number five is a cut edge envelope. So I've just got a pair of fancy scissors with a this one is a scalloped edge to go in with the theme of the scalloped altered envelope edge so i've also got some rusty hinge just to change up the edge of the envelope just to give it something totally different now you can use a vintage color to make it a you know to work in with a the vintage theme for the scalloped edge or you could use this in a Halloween style journal. You can use any color envelope you like. If you want to get away from the tea dyed, just use a pre-colored gift style envelope. Or this one is also pre-colored. It's just very light. Or like I've done on this one, I've just used white and it's given me that very stark contrast if you like. So that's this one here. It's got a shallow V you could find one with a very deep V. It really doesn't matter. So we start off by cutting our scalloped edge first. So we just get the scissors. And what you do here is you, your aim is to cut around the scalloped edge with a seamless join. And I'll show you how I do that. So I'm just going to start cutting here on the edge. I'm going to come off away from that fold line and I'm going to do my very first cut. You'll see how I've just got it there and I'm only coming in the width of the scallop. And I'm going to come up and around and I'm going to follow that shape and pivot it around. And you can see where my scissors are. I'm just cutting off the edge of that scallop scallop i haven't stopped cutting yet i've cut all the way down and now i'm stopping so you can see there where i've cut i've come up i've pivoted around a bit and i'm only cutting off a small area of the paper now i'm going to bring my scissors back in and i'm going to match up the scallop and i'm going to start cutting again i'm going to cut a little bit until i feel it resist then I'm going to match up the scallops again. You can see the teeth matching the scallop on the paper, making sure that I'm keeping it level and I'll wait until it resists. Then I move it up again until I match up the scallop with the scissors. And then when I get up to here, I'm going to start turning the paper around. So I'm going to match it up again with the scissors. Do a little bit at a time when you get to here and see I'm turning the envelope, not the scissors. Turning that envelope until I got to there and I can feel it resisting. And you get that nice seamless cut. I'm not getting any shapes other than that scalloped edge. I'll do the same again. I'm going to cut down to there until I feel it resist. Then I'll match that scallop up and go all the way down. Keep going, match it up again. You can see I missed there because I stopped and looked up at the camera. I'm going to come off the edge there. And there's my scalloped edge, all in one piece. If you want to, just cut a piece, cut the shape of a triangle on a piece of copy paper and do a little practice before you cut an envelope. Right now we're ready to colour this. I'm using a makeup brush and I've also got a Tim Holtz media mat. So I'm going to move across to there and I'm going to show you how I do it. But I do a little bit at a time so that I can get that lovely dark edge and then I blend it into nothing. So I'll, I'll move my camera across to the media mat and show you how I do it. I'm just going to use the rusty hinge for the colour. 
and I start off by loading up my brush. Now I'm using the makeup brush. You can use a blending brush if you prefer. So I start off by getting my edges nice and dark first. And while it's wet, that is when I start to go off the board and onto the envelope. And I'll load it up and I try and take away that, that firm edge. And I just come back in and get it really dark on the edge. And I don't come right into here. You can see I'm just stopping on the edge. I'm just going over and over and over the same spot right on the edge. And you can see most of my brush is actually on the mat. Now I'm pretty used to blending. If you're not used to blending, you'll have to do a bit of practice. I'm sorry if my camera shakes because it's attached to my table. So there's not really a lot I can do about it. So then I'll just come along again and I'll wet the edge with the, the ink. And I only wet half of this end of the envelope. Instead of putting my envelope back on this wet area here, I'm just going to now match the corner up and blend. Get some more colour and deepen that edge. You can get it as dark as you want. It tends to change colour from the one grain of the paper to the other. Try not to put that side of your envelope over this area here. It will discolour the other side of your envelope. So clean up as you go. We're going to load this brush up and we're going to just start very gently coming in a little bit at a time and do the same on the scalloped edges and you can see why I'm using these makeup brushes because you get a lot more control than you do if you were to use the blending brush because you could end up with big blending marks so that gives you that lovely controlled finish and then you just go ahead and stencil the rest of your envelope. You could definitely just go ahead and, and continue on putting a, another design with a, a contrasting colour or the same colour. I'm a big fan of this one. I think this would look fantastic in a Halloween theme. Move on to see the next envelope. I show you how you can do this edge without a printer. So if you haven't got a printer, this one's for you. See you in the next video.